I left you guys last with getting this package, so it only seems right to open this vlog up with opening this package. Shout out to Mishimoto. I've never really had too many issues with them. And something about their stuff that I love is the packaging on them is good. And I know that doesn't like at the end of the day really mean anything, but when something is packaged well and like is displayed well, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy it. It just, it just looks nice and it makes it feel that much nicer. This is really nice. So this is a thermostatic oil cooler, which means it only opens up and starts flowing once the oil temp reaches a certain degree, which is what I'll definitely want, it's a little bit nicer. So it comes with this little casing. Damn, that is nice. This will be going on very soon. So today's mission is gonna be to take out this SR. We don't think it'll take too long. We're gonna have Calvin on board. We're gonna have Mickey on board and I'm gonna be helping here. We're gonna try and drop the subframe, take out the motor and then potentially check out that rear subframe and see what we can do with it. I'm not too sure how long this will take, but if everything goes perfectly, we might even dip into your 240 and maybe start pulling some things apart. Maybe. Maybe. On the really optimistic side, but I'm not counting on it, but just maybe. So there's a handful of things that Calvin's gonna be looking out for today. We're gonna create a list because definitely gonna need to replace some hoses, some belts, uh, some minor things, and just some basic tune-up things that we uh, would not like to rely on working. But our understanding, this SR was running just months ago over in Japan, so we know it's in good shape. The compression test turned out well. The only thing stopping us right now is putting in the work to get it out. There's some goodies here. This filter, that intercooler. Yeah, the intercooler setup it came with is, is pretty good, and we have all the bits and pieces for that. So we kind of scored with it, I'd say. So is this the slave or master clutch Plus, cylinder? Yep. Is that a separate, like? Yep, the pedal bolts onto the inside of that and that bolts on the outside and there's a rod that goes between it. So that's separate from this fluid. We don't know anything about this motor. This is Calvin and I's first time doing it with an SR. Mickey has had some experience with it. So it's gonna be a day of learning and I'm excited to pull this thing out. So oblivious. There you go, man. Got him. We are trying to take off the AC line. No, that doesn't need to come off. That doesn't need to come off? Okay. What it appears is that this is the struggle bus, and Mickey is the captain driver, and Calvin is the kid sitting yeah, in the front seat. Kinda... Well, we're almost done. We're almost... We have a couple things to look at down there. How is this the struggle bus, by the way? We've only been working on and this then, for like less than hey, hey, this is not a struggle bus. trying to talk. He's struggling. Let him struggle. Mickey actually threw his back out, he said earlier. Trying to lift up the rear subframe and he threw his back out. TJ's gonna get underneath. I volunteer TJ to get underneath and undo whatever is the transmission, whatever holding. The trans mount still needs to be done, and I just need to make sure that there's no ground oh. also, connected. Also, the motor mounts. Oh, well, well, well. Who do we have here? Ladies and gentlemen, a King Chach himself, B is for butt plug, has made a special appearance in his. Aston Martin with a huge ass wang on it. He drove this car all the way down from Oregon. Damn. 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 Dude, that looks fucking killer. That looks so killer. Oh my God, seeing this in person is so awesome. How to be sketchy 101. It's already maxed. Those are already maxed? Yeah, your boy maxed them out already. Wow. So should I lower it? All right, I'll lower it. He thinks he needs to get under there, like his beer belly under there. You know? Dude, to get my fat ass underneath the car and get those that Back trans mount out. Back up the rear a little bit. Yeah. I did, and then homeboy yelled at me and he said, "You're homeboy gonna slip." There's a point. I tried and I got denied, Mick. I'm not getting in the middle of this feud. You I'll know what? It. Let's just send Chris underneath the car to do it. I'm a big guy, Chris. You know what I mean? Well, well then let's just let's just send Mini Me under there. No, dude, you're just a vagina. <laughs> Look, I can put a gun right here. Like, I'm not even underneath the car right now. You're just a blow, and it, don't look at my herp, dude. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm suffering here. All There's right. no embarrassment. All I'm right, suffering. all right, all right. No, no, no. <laughs> like, there's literally zero weight on these. What? So. On these jack stands, like less than 50 pounds. You could lift it up and topple it towards me. So watch your fucking head. You gonna use that jack or are you just gonna let it sit there? I don't need it yet, Dad, thanks. Okay. Everyone's just full of opinions today, okay? You just don't drop that shit. Like, 
So we just pulled what we think is every bolt, every hose that we needed. Mickey strapped up the motor to the hoist, so we're gonna make our first attempt at lifting the SR out. Hopefully it goes well, it should. We uh, did this in about like two hours or so, so, so it didn't even really take that long. I'm gonna start lowering the trans a little bit. That's not good. Tito's managing dick? Oh. See his little micro tip, Kev? So you've been managing that dick. His dick? So who's gonna get the tire? Me? Uh, we don't need the tire quite yet. I mean, if you're gonna pull it out, you're gonna need the tire. It's my job to make sure that this tip doesn't get damaged, Kev. Protect the tip. Alright. Yeah, now we're really. We need that motor back off. We need that other motor back off. Sure. Come on, Teach. You can't really hook it. Mission one done for the day. I'm not sure if we're gonna start the K today. We might as well, right? We might as well. I mean, what time is it? Yeah, actually, it depends how many more bread carbs we want in the shop. Because now we have. Oh, that's so true. One, two, three, four. This doesn't really count. We can make we can make it a solid number of five if we start Calvin's car today. How many motors do you have sitting on the ground right now? We have three motors on the ground. <laughs> fuck yeah, <y 'all>, dude. <laughs> oh fuck. It's like it's like dried pasta, dude. Oh shit, sorry, I broke that one. Oh, that one too, sorry. It's like dried pasta. It's like not even... No, I broke that one. Like, right. like, look, look, imagine if you were holding pasta. Like, I could go cook this and eat it, dude. I think you remove the windshield, that's the only way to get I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to the screw, Mickey. But it's taking me... I can't get it. I want to break something. Try to get that out, Teach. Look. Okay. Well, that ain't coming out. Come on, well, I saw it coming. Oh, oh! Chris got it. I hope you got part of it. Found a screw. Oh. oh, got them KMHs. That, that cluster's in them KMHs. Pull her out. Pull her out. Calvin decided to not go right hand drive. So for those who were asking or were trying to convince Calvin to do right hand drive, we're gonna say left hand drive just for the simplicity of it. And uh, Calvin wants to get this car back up on the road as soon as possible. Tim Mayor. As Chris just manly yanks the dash. Digital climate control on the Japanese version of the US is all. Really? Whoa. Save that. Did so you, you should it, save it. It doesn't work in the oh. US model. I didn't even notice that. Harness over. Kind of nice, dude. Is, when you break clips and stuff, it hurts a little bit less because it's finally not my car. Hey, look who's back. Big reveal. Make this the top comment, baby. <laughs> Mission accomplished for the day, SR20 out of the car. Got most of bits and pieces out of this car for what we really technically need. This harness and the ECU is ready to be swapped over. So I'm not too sure when we're gonna pull the motor on this KA because we kind of have to balance Calvin's BRZ, this 240, and make sure that within the means of all that, both of those cars are accessible in the back to pull out. So I'm not too sure what our timeline for it's gonna be, but it's definitely within this week. Because Chris is in town, I think we all are apparently going to a Puka Lounge and bar tonight. So I'm gonna go home, drop Blue off. But Chris has convinced everybody to do so. I didn't realize it until just now, but I just 100% embraced the BMW asshole driver. I was like, oh, Evan and Kevin parked their white BMWs right here. I'm gonna park mine right in the middle. And then I realized, well, I don't really fit too much on that side. And then I don't really fit too much on that side. So I was like, I'll just take the middle spot. And then getting out and looking back at the car, I was like, that's, that's a pretty douchey move if you ask me, but there's nobody here, so I'm kind of letting it pass. I got a confession to make, guys. Back in high school, 
me and Kev Jumby over here. We used to think it was really cool when we were 18 and senior year to go to the hookah lounge and smoke hookah. Looking back at it now, it seems really stupid. But for those in high school, some of you probably relate to me right now, or that have been in high school and had the same thing. We used to think it was like really cool just because we were like allowed to go into like a place that was once restricted. I don't even know. So this is like the first time that we we're smoking hookah in years. It's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> it's the funniest shit in the world. Calvin even knows how to do the dragon. Kevin taught him that in, back in high school. Kevin was a kid who like knew all the tricks. He had a hookah stuffed in the back seat of his car. <laughs> So for Christmas, my dad got me this new flat screen because like I've been telling you guys for the longest time, I really want to get a flat screen on that wall so that when I'm on my laptop here, I can stream to that. And so I'm playing the game, Sabrina can be sitting where Calvin is and watch TV. So I'm gonna be setting up this flat screen. It's probably gonna take me a couple hours or so because I'm solo because laptop boys are just hanging out and not helping. Oh, but B is for beverages, is making me- I'm making drinks and then I'll come help you with the TV. Hey, Spanish the, coffee. The power steering cooler is the little one. So that is the AC condenser, that's it. Speaking of that, don't spoil this for me. Oh. I might buy a new car. I might buy another car while I'm here. So TJ can drift it. See, this is me being a good friend. I'm buying a drift missile <laughs> for TJ to have some. Oh, yeah, car. it's it's only for me. That's his sole so purpose of buying it, is for me. How are you gonna get home? How are you gonna get home? Yeah, how are you gonna get it home? Oh, he's gonna ship it. He's gonna have someone come to the no, shop and I'll pick it up. It. Hours and hours later, our flat screen is finally installed. It doesn't sit right under the desk because we wanted it to be like in the middle of the walls. So it kind of looks awkward, but it's I'm satisfied. It's gonna have to do. We have the dual monitor set up, Twitch set up, microphone, the gaming setup, super stoked on that. In the corner, we have like the printer and all that easy stuff. Then I have my spare desk when so I'm using my laptop. I can swing over here, do laptop, do my editing. If I want to, I can stream my editing on that and edit from this couch. Unnecessary, but cool. Sabrina can do her shit, watch TV, and now it works out because Chris can sleep here tonight. If any of you have any suggestions on how I can improve this room, let me know because I'm always looking for ways to improve it. I'm gonna end the video here. It's really late, I gotta edit. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, peace out and keep moving forward. on in this car.